everybody. Um, so this week we're going over assessments and due to the uh, computer labs availability or lack of availability I should say, we have to um, complete the interactive case study during lecture instead of lab. So for that reason um, I'm doing the lecture portion uh, ahead of time um, as this video. So the Barthel Index is the first assessment that we are covering. The Barthel Index is composed of 10 items used to measure a person's performance in ADLs at the beginning of treatment. So typically what will happen is a patient will come in and the, your supervising OT will go ahead and do the evaluation and most likely they will start uh, or perform most of the Barthel, but they might assign a few of the assessments for you to complete. Um, the Barthel is, is really nice because it's very basic in assessing ADLs. Um, scoring is very easy and it's an objective um, assessment. So you know from other classes that that means that I can do it, you can do it, uh, Sarah can do it, Kathy could do it, and we're all going to come up with um, the same scores, uh, relatively the same scores. So um, it's a nice one. It's probably the most popular one that you're going to see compared to, for example, the FIM that we're going to be covering on Wednesday. Um, the reason is because I believe that a lot of facilities, they have to have, I don't know if it's um, a certification, but they have to participate in um, something specific to be able to perform the FIM. And I believe that's for insurance purposes. So the Barthel is one that you really want to familiarize yourselves with because you'll see it the most and you might be asked to perform a few components of this assessment. So what does the Barthel measure? It measures what the person actually does, not what they should or might be able to do as far as ADLs go. And that's really nice. Um, and it's really important, especially if a couple different people are going to be um, scoring the patient. So um, there's really no room for anybody to um, kind of add their two cents, so to speak. Um, you're observing, you're gathering information, and you're scoring the patient based on the information that you have, based on what they were actually able to perform. Who can perform this assessment? Well, like I said, it's objective. It is not discipline specific, so any trained clinician can complete the Barthel. Um, CODAs, OTs, PTs, uh, speech, nursing can even help with some of the, the aspects of the assessment. Direct observation of the patient's performance is always preferred in any assessment. However, this is one where information can be gathered um, by observation, uh, information obtained from the medical chart, and or interview of the patient or caregivers. It's important to note that patients might not always be the most reliable. Um, you know, of course, they want to paint the best picture of themselves. So it's perfectly fine to, if you can't observe something, to look in the medical chart or to ask um, the CNA, for example, how they did in the shower or to uh, maybe contact a daughter or a son or whoever the caregiver is and to ask a few questions so that you can get all of the data that you need to be able to um, put down an accurate score for your patient. The Barthel is composed of 10 items, so they're looking at these 10 um, ADLs. That includes bowels, bladder, grooming, toilet use, feeding, transfers, mobility, dressing, stairs, and bathing. Now you'll see Wednesday when we get into the FIM that that assesses a few more areas. It assesses 18. Um, so compared to the FIM, the Barthel is, is pretty basic. In terms of scoring, scores range from 0 to 3, although some items, for example, grooming, 
can only be scored a zero or a one. So you can or you can't do it, basically. Um, scores of the 10 items are then added up to get a total, which ranges between a zero and a 20. Lower scores are going to indicate an increased disability. So the lower the score, um, the more assistance they're going to need with uh, whichever ADL the score is um, paired with. Um, let's see. Typically, you want to gather all of your information um, for the first Barthel scoring within the first two days. So like I said, um, some of it may be um, gathered from the evaluation, the initial evaluation. And then hopefully you can get the rest of it um, during your first treatment session and or um, from a medical chart family member, uh, other uh, interdisciplinary team members. This is one that can be drawn out if you really, really need to over the course of a few days, but really 24 hours is probably all you need to get your information uh, for the Barthel. Um, what else do I want to say about this one? Let's see. Oh, you know what? Why don't we actually... Um, I would recommend that you familiarize yourself with, um, with the Barthel score sheet, which I've provided for you. Because when you come to class on Monday, we're going to jump right in. We're going to start with um, with a video of an OT and a patient, and you're going to score right along with the things that the patient is telling you about herself. So looking at bowels, you can see here that you're going to score a zero if um, your patient is incontinent or needs to be given an enema to be able to use the bathroom. You're going to score a one if they have an occasional accident, which is considered once a week. And you're going to score a two if your patient is completely continent. Um, bladder is set up pretty much the same way. You are going to score a zero if they are catheterized or uh, incontinent. Grooming, as I said here, you can see either they need help or they're independent, which includes face, hair, teeth, and shaving. Um, that's with intimate, uh, implements provided. So you can go ahead and gather their things for them and give them to your patient. And then go ahead and assess whether they're able to complete some of those things, for example, brushing their teeth or not. Let's look at feeding. So either they're unable to um, you're going to score a 1 if they need help with cutting, spreading butter, things like that. I believe that's a question that um, goes into depth a little bit in the video that we're going to get started with. So go ahead and familiarize yourself with the scores because it will make things easier for you in class on Monday when we go ahead and get started with um, applying the knowledge that you, you have that you should be able to come to class with. Uh, let's see, so some of the guidelines that you want to be aware of. Uh, let, let's see. So the index should be reported, like I said before, what the patient actually does and not what they could do. The main aim with the Barthel is to establish a degree of independence. You want to um, be able to assess what kind of needs your patient has, uh, especially when they're in a skilled nursing setting, because then it, it gives you a lot of information. It gives you information in terms of uh, what kind of room your patient needs to be in. Do they need to be closer to the nurse's desk, for example, um, if, they, if they have a very low score? Do they need to be... Um, do you need to work with them in their room to start out with so that you can really work on these ADLs? Um, are they somebody that you can go ahead and bring right to the gym and work on some uh, higher level things? So it helps you to set the tone for your treatment. Usually, like I mentioned, you're going to perform this assessment over uh, the first 24 to 48 hours, but longer periods um, will be relevant. Unconscious patients are scored at a zero. That should be pretty self-explanatory. 
Uh, let's see, anything else? Bathing is usually the most difficult activity. Um, this, this second sheet really helps you to understand where you need to score them on this first sheet if you're a little bit confused. So go ahead and look at the Barthel Index, familiar, familiarize yourself with how to score people so that, like I said, when you come to class on Monday, we can go ahead and get started. Um, after that, we're going to apply all the knowledge that you have based on the Barthel Index and based on some of the some of the things that we've already completed in phys rehab this semester, um, like manual muscle testing, for example. And you're going to take all that knowledge, you're going to apply it to an interactive case study, and be aware that at the end of the case study there is a little, uh, I think it's a 10 question quiz. That quiz this week is going to take place of the rat test. Um, the reason for that is be, there's a lot of information to get through. The lecture today is taking up the Barthel, the lecture on Wednesday is um, going to be for the FIM. And then during your labs, we're going to get into some fall assessments. Um, so go ahead and watch this as many times you, as you need to. Get comfortable with uh, Barthel scoring. And I will see you in class on Monday.